Baraka. I'm Tuere Chica. And what time do you think it is? Of course, your mystic, astrological, energetic weather report for the week of October 12th through the 18th. Are you ready? October the 12th. Gifts, myths, and riffs. Opposition, superstitions, intuitions, spears, fears, and tears. Yes, the moon in harmony with Mars, collaborating with the sun, Venus in concert with Mercury, and the gifts are here. It's open. All you have to do is give attention to it. You get more of what you give attention to. The gifts, the gifts, the deeper gifts. Not intellectual. No, not egotistical. But the gifts from your deeper self. And the myths. You will see stories in the news, in front of you, in your experience, that are repeated archetypes of those who create actions and then they reap their own action. Many people are under the pressure and they're creating their own suffering by their own actions, which suffering is ramificated to family members as well. And the rifts are coming through. This is the most intense time we will be returning to the square with Saturn, Jupiter, and Pluto that begin at the beginning of the year with the pandemic and all the things that bring spears, fears, and tears. Oh yeah, people will be stabbing, they will be offending, they will be hurting, they will be tearing and ripping and acting out of fear, basically. And as a result, many tears. So be alert and enter into the positive, higher frequencies of the gifts of this time, October the 13th. The moon and Venus holding tight, trining Uranus in supportive energy. Mars is squaring Pluto and Jupiter. I mean, it's attacking. And this is a time of reaping the harvest, receiving the money, feeling the pleasure, creative loving service, and calmness, cheerfulness, fullness, cleverness. Reaping, yes, Venus and the moon are just embracing each other. So the money is coming in, it's the, the, the harvest is, is, is ripe and ready. And the indulgence and the feelings of pleasures are here. On a higher expanded level, we're talking about creative love here, in service, in a state of cheerfulness, fullness and cleverness. This is your time to fulfill a cosmic positive ride October the 14th. The moon in stressful opposition to Neptune, trining Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn. The sun in conflict opposite Mars, squaring Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn. This is the build up here. The 14th, the sun and Mars are exactly, precisely squaring. This is a very, very powerful time. And yes, our solar. Solar flares, violent tears, and despairs. Falling stars, crashing cars, sin from Mars. What I mean, Queen? I'm talking about literally the sun flares will be affecting, the solar flares will be projecting, and really moving people to violence, tearing and ripping. Just can't take the pressure anymore and lots of despair. Why am I warning you? So you won't be a part of that crew. Falling stars, you will see them. And literally, celebrities, falling stars, 
crashing cars, a lot of accidents, and sin from Mars. What is sin from Mars? I just be putting it out without doubt. Violence, that's all. It's just sin, it's just your disconnection from the creator of all and acting violent. And you know, some of the people who are most uh, contributing to the violence on earth is not the ones who are acting it physically, but their thoughts are violent, their emotions are violent, and they add to the stress. Text, the test, the vex, Mercury ret, retrograde. Yes, on the 14th, Mercury goes retrograde. So I'm saying to you, this is the most intense time coming up this week. So hold on to your love power and stay abreast October the 15th. Moon stressfully opposing the wounded hill of Chiron. Venus in Parapasu to Jupiter. Super love responds while fears reload arms. It's saying it all. It's time here to call your super love rising, rising. It is the synchronicity with the whole universe for this particular time, which is the reason why you're here. So get that clear. There's a fear reloading arms. Yes, that's what fear does. It locks and loads and it's ready for blows. October the 16th, new moon, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Sun and the moon in unicity, squaring the famous Pluto, Saturn, and Jupiter, opposing Mars at the same time in this T-square, opposing. Mars is just fighting. It is, it is vexing. It is irritating. It is spewing. Venus opposite Neptune. It's like a, a swoon and a, a disillusionment. Relationships slip and rip or co-create and elevate. The pressure activates power of force. It's your choice. You see, it's the force that we don't need from the, the sin of Mars and the greed. The power is from the Almighty, and we've heard it. There's no power greater than love. But why do you push and you shove? Yes, it's time to do your best. October the 17th, the moon hugging Mercury opposite Uranus. Venus still coming to this intensity with opposition of Neptune. This is a awakening of universal love and it's hard for some people. And Mars is exactly the perfect square to Jupiter at this time. Ooh, this is excessive use of force and a blowing into an angry time bomb release. So what am I really talking about? Psychic receptivity, responsibility, responsible, courageous spiritual action. Stop, look, listen to your heart and what it's saying. Be loved, be loved. October the 18th, Venus comes into the exact perfect now opposition with Neptune. This is a disillusionment and a swoon and a zoom and a boom in relationships. The sun is in the exact square now. Perfect aligned square with Saturn. Control from the soul for the best of the whole. Yield to the yin going deep within. Your purpose from the roots in synchronicity with your source, can't you see? Hear that inner voice and a sin. Oh, let it be, my friends. I'm here with this service of love, sincere, to warn you and let you know we've been having a tough year. And this is one of the points, red flags of fire. 
You feeling it, but it's easy to get caught up into it. Use your willpower to love, to be patient, to rise above the fire, the heat, the solar flares, and the implosions, and the release of vindictiveness and hate and irate. Don't let it come to your gates. And how do you do this? How do you dismiss through your meditation, your concentration, your correlation with the positive generation, the rising stars of responding as the solution and resolution to the negative, naughty, nasty pollution. Now, love has no value without a contrast of hate. And it's great, but this is what we're here for, Earth School 101. This is your opportunity to rise in these times. And you will, because you're listening to this. So don't forget to tune in, tap in, turn on, your higher powerful soul like regeneration almighty dedication because I'm telling you your dismissing your rejection of love and those who love it's going to be you way above real high with an alibi sky high taking a fall into your own mess sabotaged by you that decides that you're going to do your own thing and follow this mainstream illusion dream crew. I'm saying to you, the right thing to do is sit still, get real, tune in, go deep from your soul to your peak, realize that you're more than just a physical body and uh, accumulated th- thoughts of ego mind and thrive, okay? I'm too airy cheek. Listen today, it's gonna be a hot week, okay? This is your mystical, energetic, astrological weather report and I see you right now. Yes, I do. How can I make this message like a deja vu it is to send you these electric magnetic love power rays for brighter days are you ready hold and study there we go it's all love namaste now you can grow baraka oh it's gonna do it automatically oh Oh, it's gonna do it automatically. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's gonna do it automatically. Oh.